Hey guys, like Sales here from Alf Reagan's video. Now today it's going to be the usual routine. Two videos back to back. And today we'll be talking about two brand new designer releases from 2014. Now to start, this one's in the Christian Dior house. That's Fahrenheit Par Fan by Dior. This one came out January 2014 and my god, this one just blew me away. Like, when I heard there was a Fahrenheit or the Parfum coming out, I was just like, wow. I mean, really? That was like the most exciting thing, I, the most exciting news I'd ever heard. So yeah, I went to sniff it out, and um, this was strange because I thought to myself, I'm going to love this, and I did like it, but I didn't love it. I mean, it was like a seven out of ten when I first sniffed it, and as I sort of got it, um, it sort of boosted me up to an eight to a nine on me. It really was. In fact, the best bit about this is I got some samples. I went into buy your home, and I spoke to the woman and I says, listen, I'm interested in the parfum, and she gave me some samples. She says, look, try them out, see how they are for you. And come back. Well, the thing is, I tried them out on me, and they were nice. Not going to lie, but the thing it sold me it was it wasn't the, the samples on me. It was basically the samples on a friend of mine. I gave him, I gave a friend of mine uh, one of the samples, and they put on in college. I'm walking down the stairs, and I got this really gorgeous whiff of this cologne, and it was this. It was this parfum, and it smelled really, really good. It smelled so much better than him that did me. And um, at first, I thought like it wasn't like a. Uh, Jason saw my jacket's getting caught in this chair at the back here and it's going all weird. Um, basically, I, I didn't think it was projecting too much on me. But with him, I just, the minute I sniffed it on him, I thought I need to get that. It was so good. So, yeah, let's talk about the bottle. Now, as you can see, this one's a wee fat bottle. It's what it comes in, this one only comes in 75 mils. It's also very expensive. A 75 mil bottle of this will set you back 71 quid. So, it's not cheap by any means. For, for a designer, that's far from cheap. So, um, but um, I'll explain why I think it's worth it in the end. But anyway, this one has a wee fat bottle. If you look here, it's quite a wee cute bottle. You pat on the head, I <laughs> kid. But um, yes, it's a classic Fahrenheit bottle. The exact same bottle, exact same pattern. Though the Fahrenheit flank has normally changed the pattern. This one's the exact same as the original Fahrenheit. So you get your Fahrenheit there, your DR there. You get the CD Christian Dior initials on the top, and you get a massive CD at the bottom there, which I think is kind of cool. And I think it's as weird as the lid. Normally the Fahrenheit, the whole lid comes off with this one. Only the top part comes off here, the bottom part stays on. So yeah, let's talk about the sprayer. Now if we look here. Excellent sprayer. One of the best I've came across. Even better than the original. Right off the bat. I get this. Very, very similar to Fahrenheit Absolute. You sniff Fahrenheit Absolute. Really, really good scent. I've done a video on that. It's like Fahrenheit Absolute, but more rounded. Fahrenheit Absolute is quite aggressive. And uh, as I meant to say to you, also, f this is actually going, Fahrenheit Absolute is getting discontinued. This is built to replace it. Because it smells similar, they will decide to replace Fahrenheit Absolute with this. So, I would snatch it up where you can. Personally, I think Fahrenheit Absolute doesn't deserve to be discontinued. They do smell unique enough to have both. So this one does smell similar that it has that oody, and that incense temple vibe to it. But it's got a bit of vanilla in there as well, so it's, it's not as sharp, it's not as aggressive, it's more rounded and softer. You know, more delicate, more uh, less less bang right in your face. But I liked that about Absolute, I thought Absolute had that really sharp, you know, the devil's juice. You know, you know I said like, the guy from Guilty Sin would do it, that's you know, serial killer, the sort of, like, you know American Psycho? You know, uh, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho? He, he, he would wear that, he would wear Absolute, it has that sharp aggressiveness with that classiness, you know, so behind that classy juice is that sharp, aggressive, violent devil, and that's what I got with that, it was that really nice. But this one, I do like it, I really do, but I just don't think they should discontinue Absolute for this. I can't think Absolute's a bit darker than this, so. This one is um, masculine and dark, but this smells nothing like the original Fahrenheit. It smells close to Absolute, but I just imagine the Fahrenheit DNA wasn't in there. It does have a tiny, tiny bit of that vial note. I mean, you just a tiny bit, you just get it. That petroleum this in there, that sort of petroleum vial note. Is in there. It's very, very limited, very light, but it still is there. So, really, really good. Rounded. Um, I guess this one will probably appeal to the masses more. It's eau de parfum as well, so it's strong concentration. It does last long. Longevity is excellent. I, I mean, really, I'll go on to that bit. Really nice vanilla, creamy scent. It's more rounded. Really, really nice. Do sniff it. Lasting power. This doesn't last as long as the original Fahrenheit, in my opinion. Uh, but this one is still, I easily get 12 hours, but projection wise, I must get about maybe 3 hours heavy projection, it starts to die down. With the original, it's just a beast all the way through. 
So they're both excellent in terms of lasting power. This one still is excellent. Projection isn't as high as the original, but I mean we're talking about the original being a 10 out of 10, and this being say a 9. So not much of a difference. A wee bit, but not much. So lasting power, this thing will, will, will stand up, you know. Winter, cold, wind, this will this will fight through it. This doesn't care. This is this is the brave heart of like fragrances, you know, the wind and the rain will be blown at you, trying to make your fragrance go away, and this fragrance will be like, freedom! You know? <laughs> fragrance! Ood! Incense! You know? <laughs> so this, will, this is strong, it will last. So really, really good. Yeah, love it. So where to wear this? Um, in fact, first I'm going to talk about age group. This one is definitely not for your teens, in my opinion. It's really, like the original Fahrenheit, the DNA is it's quite masculine. This one is um, a, ma a man scent. This is easily, you know, in your, I, you could rock, I rock this and I'm 21, but I could easily say it's been 21 and up, you know, 21 and up for this one, maybe a wee bit older, maybe 25, just my opinion, it is quite a strong masculine scent, really, really good, very sophisticated, very nice, but you do, you do seem to talk about, really, really nice, um, so yeah, do give it, do give it a try, it's worth a sniff at the Dior counter, just walk up and say, look, can I try the new Parfum, you don't like it, you don't like it, but it's worth a sniff. So yeah, um, age group for that. Now, where to wear this for a date? I think this is absolutely great. Um, really, with this one, I would go easy on the spray. I would say three to four sprays tops. Really cold day, really windy, maybe go for four, but I doubt that. I would go for three just to be sure. So for a date, I would go with two, it's two sprays of this tops. Just two sprays tops for a date with this one. It's really, really nice. So, you know, a romantic, romantic date or something, special occasion, two sprays tops. For work... I would not wear this to work at all. It's too classy, it's too sophisticated, it's too designer, it's too nice to wear to work. You want something to wear to work, eh, maybe go for something light or something, Versace Pro Rome or something like that. This I wouldn't really wear for work, it's too classy, too nice. Casual wear, I guess you could rock it because it is Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit is quite masculine. You could probably wear this, it, is, it does have that petroleum sort of note in there. I guess you could rock this your jeans and t-shirt to the pub. It's kind of classy, but I'm sure you, you, if you, you're confident wearing it, that's all that matters, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, you could wear this casually if you want. It's your fragrance. You, you spent 71 quid for a 75 mil. You can do whatever the hell you want with it at uh, that price. So yeah, excellent scent. Really, really nice release in Dior. So if anyone from Dior is watching this, I just want you guys to know, do not discontinue Fahrenheit Absolute. It will still sell. Just trust me. These are two completely different colognes. Do you guys or not, but we're the guys buying them. We're the guys sniffing them. So I hate to sound arrogant, but let's face it, we know be a wee bit better than you. I'm not being a dick, but I just I just hate when, when companies do that. They just, well, let's continue that. It's like, why? It doesn't smell this. It smells very similar to Absolute in like the first spray, but it does die down and become its own scent and a creaminess to it. So don't discontinue Absolute. There's no reason to. It's not even been out that long, Christ. So, yeah. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know a lot of people are curious, but this one is brand new on the market, just like the Valentino. So, yeah. If you want some info, do check out my video. Any questions you have on this, remember, I'll be happy to answer. Leave them in the comments, send me a personal message, or anything like that. No problem. The song I used in the intro will be listed in the description, along with a link to my blog. And all my videos are available in a playlist, so easy to access. If you click on my uh, channel, you click on Playlist and Fragrances of the Lexi so they'll all be listed there from the start to the very end. So look out for this one, guys. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this. Remember, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who has. So yeah, I hope this video sort of cleared up your questions about this fragrance. I know a lot of people have been curious, so yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.